Hello everyone, this is Wali Muhammad Outputta from Water Management Services. Today I am going to show you how to calculate water pressure exerted by the column of water. Let's get a start from the basic principles. First of all, we will talk about what is water pressure. Pressure is defined as the force exerted per unit area. Mathematically, we can write here P is equal to F upon A. P is the pressure in pounds per square inches. F is the force in pounds. A is the area in square inches. Here P pressure is equal to force. This shows that pressure is proportional to force. If force increases, pressure will also increase. If force decreases, pressure will also decrease. This force F represents the weight of column of water above a certain point. Weight of water column is equal to volume of column of water multiplied by the specific weight of water. Here F is equal to W and W is equal to volume of column of water multiplied by specific weight of water. Now the formula for calculating water pressure will be modified as pressure is equal to force upon area is equal to weight of column of water upon area and weight is equal to volume of column of water in inches cube multiplied by specific weight of water. The unit will be pounds per inch cube divided by the area in square inches. After simplification, we will get the unit in PSI, pounds per square inches. Here are a few examples which illustrates the calculation of pressure exerted by the column of water. In figure 1, a container having width 1 inch, this is a 1 inch, which is the width of this container, and the length is 1 inch, is filled with water at a height of 12 inches. The pressure will be calculated through the same formula. We know the specific weight of water is 62.4 pounds per foot cube. When we convert it into the pounds per inch cube, we will divide this figure by 12 power 3 and we will get 0 0.0361 pounds per inch cube. By substituting these values in the formula, 1 inch by 1 inch by 12 inches inch cube multiplied by specific weight of water is 0 0.0361 pounds per inch cube all divided by area will be 1 by 1 inch square. This inch cube will be cancelled by this inch cube. We will get 0 0.433 pounds per inch square. In figure 2, a container having width 1 inch, length 2 inches, is filled with water at a height of 12 inches. Now here, 1 inch is the width, 2 inch is the length, and 12 inches is the height of column of water in the container. The pressure will be calculated as the formula will be same as we used before. A specific weight of water is 0 0.0361 pounds per inch cube. Now by substituting these values in the formula, 1 inch by 2 inch by 12 inches inch cube times 0 0.0361 pounds per inch cube or divided by area is 1 by 2 inch square. This inch cube will be cancelled by this inch cube. After simplifying this calculation, we will get 0.43 3 pounds per inch square. Now in figure 3, a container having width 1 inch, length is 1 inch and is filled with water at a height of 34 inches. Here you see the height is different from the previous two examples. The pressure will be calculated through the same formula. A specific weight of water is same, 0 0.0361. By substituting these values, in the formula, we will get 1 inch by 1 inch by 24 inches inch cube multiplied by 0 0.0361 pounds per inch cube. Area is 1 by 1 inch square. Inch cube is cancelled by this inch cube. After simplification of this calculation, we will get 
866 pounds per inch square. In this slide, the pressure obtained through calculation are mentioned below each figures. In figure 1, the pressure is obtained 0.433 psi. In figure 2, the pressure is obtained 0.433 psi. In figure 3, where the height of column of water is 24 inches, the pressure is obtained 0.866 psi. From these figures, it has been observed that the pressure is determined by the height of column of water rather than the width of water column. From this calculation, the conversion factor has also been generated. One feet of column of water is equal to 0.433 psi and one psi is equal to 0.31 feet of water column. Hope this video will provide you the best knowledge for calculation of water pressures. Thank you.